five. Neighbors near Lakewood High School very frustrated because there aren't enough parking spots for students at the school. And the problems now spilling into their neighborhood and clogging up their streets. Well, Denver 7's Amanda Del Castillo is live at the high school at 8th and Kipling. And the carpool line, Amanda, adds to that frustration. Ann and Shannon and the uh, it's only getting worse is what neighbors tell me here. Now it's gotten so frustrating that the neighbors as well as the school district and the city have created a task force to look for possible solutions. They used to walk to school. They were bused or carpooled with other students, those kinds of things. Things Tim Reed says happened more often back when Lakewood High was first built. Old habits that prevented this. Now the district wants to move student drivers off these streets and back onto campus to alleviate this congestion. What we want to try to do is restripe the lots, see how many uh, spaces we pick up, and how the, and, and if that really does alleviate the problem. Reed anticipates about 100 new spots, but neighbors are weary. The school district is, well, let's get some input. Well, the input is you guys created the problem. More than 2,100 students are currently enrolled at Lakewood High. Only 404 student parking spots are available by permit, costing these students an upwards of $200 a year. Or they can park here for free. This is basically the Lakewood High School Bronco Stadium. This is 24-7. It looks like a Bronco game here every morning, every afternoon. Every day. When school's in session, when school's out of session, cars are in the neighborhood, students are buzzing around. Residents say there has been little relief. These signs only allowing parking for neighbors and their guests, but neighbors say even when police are around, the signs are ignored. And like clockwork, the congestion. Our point was that, not necessarily that there's enough parking, you know, there, we can always try to put more parking on the site, but it, it has been the inability to access and to, to leave the site in a timely fashion. Now, Reid tells me that the city and school district funded a traffic consultant to take a look at those possible solutions by the task force. More solutions will be introduced at tonight's 7 o'clock city council meeting. I'm live in Lakewood, Amanda Del Castillo, Denver 7. Thank you, Amanda.